What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to clone a transponder key with your Autel KM100. Now a couple things to go over before we get started is you will need the Autel KM100 of course and unlike the X-Horse the Autel can only clone keys if you have dedicated clonable chips. Now for today's example we're doing a Honda this is a HD 106 keyway. You'll need an original working key already programmed to the car and your clonable chip. So how can you tell if you've got a clonable chip or not? Well, most of them specify. Right here I've got a clonable Honda key. If you'll notice here it says chip ID T5. That's Honda's clonable key. And then just for example here, this would be an OEM key of the same model year where we've got our ID 13 this would not work so pay attention you can get clonable chips some suppliers uh, shout out to Southern Lock um, they do have quite a bit of keys already set up with the clonable chip in there so let's get started we're gonna go to our KM100 menu you notice at the top right corner here we've got reading and cloning we'll select that Now, I'm going to take my original working key, and I'm going to read it just to make sure I've got a good read. There we go, ID 13. And then next I can go ahead and hit clone. Now, I do recommend, some cases, it's required to sniff the ignition data. You'll have to cut the key, but if possible, don't cut your key until you know it's going to work, just to avoid wasting the key. So, we'll hit clone. It's going to say place the original key in the slot and we're going to start with reading. Now it says to take out the original key, place the transponder in there. Uh, one thing I like about the Autel is it even tells you use a T5 transponder. As I said before, we've got it at the top there, it's T5. So we'll take our clonable key. And uh, like I said earlier, this one's not cut. so. Next step will be to cut it, and I'll show you it working. Let's go ahead and hit next with our clonable key in the antenna. There we go. Cloning completed. So if we hit continue, like a lot of uh, functions on the Autel, it's going to do it again if you have more than one. Uh, we don't want to do that, so we'll just hit completed. And we should be all done. Let's go ahead and read it. There we go, now this key is showing up as ID 13, just like our original. So let's get it cut and I'll show you that it works in the vehicle. All right, now we're in the vehicle. We're gonna make sure that the key starts the car once it's been cloned. You're gonna notice up here on the dash, there's gonna be a blinking green key light that'll quickly go out once a programmed key is inserted into the ignition. So we'll put our key in, turn it on. There's our key light disappeared, so we should be good to start the car. There you go, car is running, no key light. We'll turn it off. The key light will come back on once you take the key out of the ignition. Well, there you have it everybody. That's how you clone a transponder key with your Autel KM100. Uh, just keep in mind that cloning keys is a great way to avoid hard programming a key into the car, uh, whether it has issues or uh, multiple other reasons out there. Uh, cloning is very beneficial to know how to do. Uh, our key points on this is to, again, make sure that you purchase a clonable key. And if that seems too complicated for you, I'd recommend look into the X-Horse Universal Chips and the X-Horse key tool. Well, thank you for your time. I hope that helps.